pipe. Anyway, I have the Taunton Dean cutting. It is desperate to go in some soil. I'm going to try and take some cuttings from a plant. Um, it's just a branch of a plant. I know ideally you should do it on a bit that's not flowering, but that's not possible. So we'll see if it works. So first the Taunton Dean pair. A pot. Is that going to be deep enough? Yep, should do. At least for now. So now I need two lots. There we go. So I've got a little bit of soil in here. I'll tip it onto its side. And then this has been growing roots for way, 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 way too long. And then all I'm going to do is crumble this soil in around that because buskers can be kind of deep. Just to kind of firm it in, and then it just needs to soak up some water. Actually, I guess I should water it from above initially to make the um, compost settle down. It's made the compost settle down, and then I'll just put it down there for now. Now, the other thing I've got, I don't know exactly what this is, but I thought it's really pretty. And so I'm going to pinch off the flowers, break off or cut just below a node, and put it into some soil. And hopefully I might get some cuttings. Um, I guess if I do something like this, I can get a lot of cuttings in it. And I won't forget what they are. I have no idea if this will work. Right. I think I need to do it up here so you can actually see what I'm doing. I've never done this before. <laughs> so I am cutting off the flowers. So we want the energy to go into the earthen roots. And then I'm gonna cut it low enough. Maybe not. I want to get below that leaf joint. I guess here I just pulled it back off. I can cut these off. And then just put... You see it's got a bit of a bulge there. I'm going to put that. I'm going to take the lower leaf off. Put these two. Like that. So it'll and. I might reduce these down to half. And I'll stick that in the wet soil. 
and then I'll do that lots more times with this. So I have, what is it, 11 cuttings here. So we will see if they survive. You don't know if you don't try. I think that will do for now. I put lids back over the squash plants. I've got to be careful though, because they got scorched the other day, because it was sunny and hot. And now it's a bit cooler again. So yeah, we'll see. Some of the squash have come up and died. Some of the squash haven't come up at all. Some of them have come up okay. Looks like we've got a few melons there. But yeah, bit of a mix. I will say bye for now. This lovely clematis. So cherry. Has the sun. So, good morning. A few days ago, I planted out beans, French beans, runner beans, all sorts. And I was like, oh no, are they going to get mullered by the slugs? Because it's been raining on and off. And yes, there was a little bit of damage, but I'm pleasantly surprised. But they've mostly survived. Um, that's a good. So I'm going to start with streaming the side paths again. Just keep it under control. Then I'll work on my plot. Well, I sort of got what I wanted done today. I swapped a few of the covers over. I've planted salad potatoes up near the end. Uh, I've chopped up all the brassica remains, done a few labels so I know where things are going. I had to dig over a bed because there was too much brine weed in it and then I put the covers back down so I know roughly where things are going there. Well, that'll do for today. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. So as far as the plot's going, fruit is getting overwhelmed with bindweed again. Strawberries have gone nuts, so I've got to net them. I've got the other beds ready to take stuff. And I've got to dig over in the new brassica tent. Oh, I have uh, big onions there. Well, that was onions from set. I'm going to put my, some of my onions I sewed at home into this bed. So I filled in the rest of that with onions and put in any that were missing from further over there with the onions. I'm going to give them a quick water, give the beans a quick water and then go home. So looking at these brassicas, unfortunately most of them are mullered by the slugs. I think I'm going to have to re-sew that stuff. Just so I actually get to harvest some brassicas this year. Well this is certainly not the visit I thought it was going to be, but at least I got a little bit done. Thanks for watching, bye for now.